Hi, Joe from Smarter Digital here, and I'm here to give you, a Nikon users, um, a tip using a functionality known as ISO sensitivity control. So ISO sensitivity control is a way of being able to um, cap uh, the amount of ISO that your camera can go up to um, with a minimum shutter speed in mind. Really useful for, say, portrait shooters who might be shooting a family, for example, and you're, walking, you're going in and out of lighting conditions, but you, you don't want to go under a particular shutter speed. So um, if we look at the camera itself and look in the setting, under the uh, second menu, the shooting menu, we will see ISO sensitivity settings. So when we OK that, what we actually have is a situation where you choose what your working ISO is, what your minimum ISO is. Down here, we will now switch the ISO auto control from off to on. And now we have two variables. So let's say that we want the camera to not go anywhere below 1 100th of a second. But we're happy for the camera to go up to 800 ISO from its minimum 200 ISO to be able to get that minimum shutter speed. So what you see here in the first shot is that I'm in aperture priority and I'm shooting at 5.6. Now there's my ISO 200 uh, and I also have a shutter speed of 1 1 25th of a second. On the second shot, you'll notice that I still have the f5.6. Now I have my minimum shutter speed that I chose, which was 1 100th of a second, and it had to go up to 800 ISO to achieve that. So a pretty handy feature, especially if you're an aperture shooter, where you at least make sure that you'll never go below your, uh, your favorite shutter speed. Anyway, thanks for listening. It's Joe from Smarter Digital. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.